Hey guys, uh, quick update for a sec. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done vids. What else is new? But I've been moving lately. Last weekend, and it's been nothing but a pain to get everything together. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually filming on carpet because I don't have my review table anymore, and my desk is too cramped to review this in particular. Uh, notice. Woohoo. Uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I did a review on a K-Bar knife, and it was a different box, shorter length. I went back and exchanged it. Uh, I'm going to keep that video up, but I did find that I wanted something bigger, and um, I don't know if I mentioned this in the other video, but I ordered a new sheath for it, and it was too big. And I just wanted a bigger K-Bar. It's K-Bar. you got to get something big, right? So, here it is. Ta -da -da. Uh, of course, this is a Tento blade like my other one. And, uh, one sec, uh, rug burn hurts. It is 8 inches overall. Wait, no, my bad. A blade length of uh, 8 inches and an overall length of 12 and 7 eighths of an inch. Uh, still a great knife, uh, point seven two pounds. Uh, I don't remember how big the other one is. Um, when I exchanged it, the guy was like, "Oh, well, people usually like the shorter ones because they're lighter." Weight's not an issue to me, and I'm gonna be needing a a, a bigger fighter knife uh, in the military, anyways. Which won't be for a while, but still. Um. The edge angle is still the same, uh, 20 degrees. Obviously, it's partially serrated. They don't have a uh, plain edge in this version from what I can find, which kind of sucks. But um, with this knife, it's an exception, and uh, it's still pretty great. <clears throat> Everything's pretty much the same. The grip is still um, Craton G, which is still very stiff not gonna fall out your hand, you're not gonna lose grip or anything like that unless you just let go, which um, I wouldn't suggest obviously. It is a hollow grind. Uh, obviously it's a fixed blade. The steel is a 1095 uh, Crovan steel. Very nice, it's kept uh, it's kept an edge for quite a while even I haven't used it yet. I haven't chopped anything with it yet, I haven't really cut anything. Uh, I might reprofile the edge, I don't know yet. <clears throat> uh, oh, I don't even know what else to say about this knife. Oh, sheaths. Let's move on to sheaths. Uh, this is the one that comes with stock. Some of you who know uh, K-Bar are probably wondering, Hey, there's two snaps on them. Where's the other one? Um, I cut it off. Uh, let me show you how to cut this is a very good grade uh, tactical sheath with the uh, oh, molly gear attachments. I don't quite remember what those are called. But uh, with this being a uh, tactical sheath, there's no need to have two snaps. And if you're using this in an actual uh, need to where you have to get it out quickly, that second snap is going to be the, uh, the difference between you and death. <clears throat> because even, I'm not even going to put this snap on, but it's not going to come out, okay? Because in order to take this out, you have to pull down on the sheath, and then, let's see if I can do this, wait, okay, pull down on the sheath, and then pull out the knife. No other way is it going to come out. Uh, I believe on newer K-bars, they did only go down to one snap. Mine had both of them, so I just cut it off. Um, kept this one on because it is an easy uh, an easy snap to get off. As I mentioned in my other video, I got a new sheath for my other K-Bar. I'm going to go show you that one. This is a sheath from Blackhawk with a clip attachment. <clears throat> or not an attachment, but a clip pouch to put a pistol clip on. Uh, really when I carry this, I fit my wave in here because it gives me more space on my belt. 
and that's when I'm camping, of course. Uh, on the inside, your Velcro is adjustable for bigger, um, bigger clips or uh, whatever else you want to fit in there. For the inside, it's a Kydex insert, which is real nice. You slide it in, like so, and you snap it. And there you go. It's uh, nice and secure, not going to go anywhere. So, uh, really nice. Velcro attaches to your belt. Slip your belt through there, put that over it, and you're ready to go. So, uh, yeah, that's a Blackhawk sheath. About $40, I believe. Um, I don't quite remember the site for it. Oh, US Tactical. Uh, US Tactical.com, that's where I got it. Real nice. You got a nice little leg tie for it. Uh, this does attach to your leg very nicely, too. <clears throat> But, um, yeah, great knife. Same price, that's why I just simply exchanged it for a bigger one. Still nice, well balanced, good grip. Everything's, uh, still great. K Bar still does it right, no matter what they do. <clears throat> so, uh, thanks, guys.